In this Black Myth Wukong video, I bring you a complete guide on how to get the Dark Thunder transformation. This one I hope I get to you in time because it's a transformation that you can be locked out of getting if you do progress too far. But don't worry guys, today I will explain all. Oh, how's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I am giving away a copy of Black Myth Wukong every single week. Now to win it's as simple as this, drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed. I'll pick one winner from the comment section of one of my Black Myth videos and announce them at the end of the week. So good luck everybody. So the Dark Thunder transformation is actually amazing. You transfer into the horse Gwai Mei Tiamba and you have quite the moveset. You have the standard focus building bar, but upon you filling this up using that whip, you can transform your weapon in what's basically a lightning rod. With the heavy attack leaving like a ring of devastating electricity on the floor. So how do you get this and how can you be locked out of it? Well. If you progress into chapter 5 and defeat the boss of the Keeper of Flaming Mountains without doing any of the requirements, I'm absolutely certain you are lost in getting this transformation. I mean there is always new game plus, but other than that guys I believe you will be locked out. Ok so the basics with this quest is basically you uh, within each chapter finding and speaking to the horse Gwai uh, Mei Tiamba. And this happens up until a point in chapter 5 where you then take on the Keeper of Flaming Mountains, this boss. Uh, where you can after this fight just go and grab this transformation. Being locked out of this quest consists of you not speaking to the horse Kawhi uh, within every location before taking out the Keeper of Flaming Mountains within chapter 5. Now if you are yet to defeat this boss you can get this 100%. If you've already defeated this boss and not spoke to the horse Kawhi uh, within where you last see him within the hollowed web area, I'm afraid you will be locked out of this. Ok so this all starts in the chapter 1 area of Bamboo Grove. So from the back hill shrine follow the path I take on screen now to him. Now what you want to make sure and this is with every interaction you have with him today, make sure you clear out all dialogue to the point of him either repeating himself or you having no other option to speak further. And then guys need to head to chapter 2 and the area of Sangate village and the village entrance shrine. From this point follow the path I take on screen now to where he can be located. He can next be found within the chapter 3 area of the new Thunderclap temple, the shrine, the temple entrance. So follow this path I take on screen now and it will lead you directly to him.
My friend! Yellow Wind Ridge offered me nothing. Okay, so he's now found, or next found, within the webbed hollow area within chapter 4. So from the middle hollow shrine, I follow the path to him as I take it on the screen now. You'll come to him being trapped inside a cocoon where you need to smash it to let him out. Okay, so now guys, you need to progress into chapter 5, where you actually get this transformation from. But you first you need to take out the boss of the Keeper of Flaming Mountains, who can be found and located just a little bit further on from the Furnace Valley area Emerald Hall Shrine. A point I do believe you cannot miss, and you have to come to and progress past. So yeah, this boss, it consists of three phases. With the first one being real simple, actually the first two being really simple. Uh, but to be honest, it's far from the hardest boss in the game anyway. So get through all phases and I don't really want to ruin it for you. I don't want to ruin any of your phases, so I won't show you for each of them. But yeah, get through them and you are good to go and get this transformation. Okay, so upon you taking this boss out, you can now come and grab this transformation. So back to the Furnace Valley, Valley Entrance Shrine. Another one you cannot miss, you basically come to this when you first come to this area. Uh, from here, follow the path that I take on the screen now. Now, there are a couple of enemies in your way when it comes to grabbing this transformation, so make sure you take them out. And yeah, it's as simple as that. You are then, guys, free to grab this amazing transformation. And there we have it, guys. This is how you get the Dark Thunder transformation in Black Myth Wound Conk. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.